comes from Russia via Luxembourg. Um, and uh, she's gonna talk about uh, best practices for your like, best practices for your first work Hello, hello everyone. How are you today? Are you enjoying the conference? Yes. Yeah. I'm for sure. My name is Elena. I'm originally from Russia. I'm running my small web studio in Zurich. Uh, I work first of all in Zurich and newly in Luxembourg. I'm using WordPress uh, almost uh, since its early beginning. I love it. I find it really great. Uh, who uses WordPress as well? Everyone. Nice. Uh, who consider himself uh, comfortable while managing their website with WordPress? And uh, who is a beginner? Just started or not started yet? Okay, nice. Because my topic is first of all for beginners, but I hope uh, experienced users uh, will find uh, something useful as well. Uh, apropos, um, do you know what is the best website in 2018? Lozenne WordCamp website. <laughs> I don't know too. No. So let's correct right now. But how to do it with WordPress? As I was young and beautiful and uh, I did not have any experience, I needed to create a simple website. Everyone told to do it with WordPress. It's easy, it's very easy. Is it easy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I went to wordpress.org, found the uh, get wordpress button, after that the load button, I clicked it, the loading started, I was very happy, I thought, yeah, very easy, really, I've done! <laughs> Who tried the same way? <laughs> now you know what happened then. So, I remember I was not a web developer and uh, didn't have any technical background. So, I was sitting, start to with order with those files and thought, what I did wrong? Like in all wage situations, uh, I went to Google, asked what to do <laughs> next. Uh, happy me, I found the hosting with one-click WordPress installation and that's it. So, nowadays, uh, almost every hoster uh, allow you to install WordPress in one click. And everything you need to do, you need to have, is... Uh, okay, uh, I wanted to say that uh, I still had this folder with those files and feeling like I disassembled my computer, assembled it back and some uh, parts left. So, for you, but you don't have such feeling. Uh, you um, get just uh, your domain and uh, your hosting. Domain is uh, the name of your website and hosting is uh, uh, the space on server where your website is uh, living. I left some web addresses where you can definitely pick one. Uh, after you connect your domain with your hosting, you easily find on your hosting panel install WordPress button. You install it in no time. You choose a nice theme, uh, edit a little bit your content or not a little bit, and that's it. Uh, would you like to see a live demo? Uh, practically, it works following. You go um, to a website of uh, uh, the register domains, for example, uh, Infomania, where you can uh, find a local domain for Switzerland, CH, for a good price. Um, basically, I recommend, uh, uh, if you're running your local business, I recommend to buy a local domain and uh, a local hosting, because uh, if you have uh, two um, two websites well, opti well optimized for search engines when with big probability the website from local hosting 
uh, will uh, rank uh, better as a website, for example, from US hosting. Because, uh, uh, you know, in US you can really create a very cheap hosting for one, two dollar, but uh, do not expect too much from such kind of hosting. So if you run your business in Switzerland, I would uh, truly recommend you to buy a hosting in Switzerland, to invest maybe a little bit, but uh, I truly believe it uh, will uh, work better for your business. So we find uh, our local domain, or not local, maybe .com. So if you find a very cheap domain uh, on promotion, domain for one dollar, it will work great. But with hosting, uh, just pay attention to that. So we buy our domain, it's like by normal online shopping, we buy a domain and uh, we get um, email confirmation with our, uh, with all our um, details where we can log in to administration interface and manage this domain. We don't need to manage really much, we just need to find a DNS, which is domain name servers. Every domain, like every uh, person, have a name, and we have to put the domain names, click uh, confirm, and uh, that's it. It will work. For uh, where to find this DNS, uh, um, when we buy the hosting, we get uh, a confirmation email as well, and uh, uh, in most cases, somewhere in this confirmation email. So with these uh, uh, easy steps, we find our uh, domain names, we connect it to our hosting, so we have everything to start. So we go to our hosting, find the button uh, as domain, we put here plus, okay. <laughs> I was not looking. We put here a domain. <laughs> Add our domain name, whatever you want. So normally it will uh, everything uh, uh, set it up automatically. You just need maybe, somewhat maybe it's uh, really recommended to to secure it uh, with uh, less ask, ask cream. You saw the secure website, so uh, it's a secure and green lock. That's it. But you can do it later, if you're not sure. And uh, you press OK. And that's it. Uh, normally this uh, configuration, uh, co connection of domain to your hosting needs um, in most cases, it's really quick. So you can, uh, in most cases, begin with WordPress, with one-click WordPress installation at this point, but sometimes it takes uh, up to uh, 48 hours, but it's really uh, nowadays a rare case. So I created a demo domain to show you um, how to install WordPress in one click. So you find the button install WordPress, you press it, and uh, it will be installed. Normally it works quite quickly, uh, like right now, maybe it will take a while because of internet connection, or some other reasons, maybe because I am speaking here first time and <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. Because of that, I, of course, uh, I did uh, install another installation to show you but it will be a little bit later. So, okay. we are back to our presentation. The second, huh? no. what? So normally it will be installing like that. Okay. If you buy hosting, just uh, uh, see that these points uh, included in your package. It can call one-click WordPress installation or app installer or CMS ready. That's all meaning this hosting package uh, allowed you to install WordPress in one click. 
because it's a rare case, but sometimes hosting uh, do not have it or some packages do not have it. Uh, in our uh, thing, you can ask hoster, you can uh, ask anything you like, and uh, I recommend you to ask hosting because by asking you test how the support team work and if it's good for you. Because of that, uh, never shy to ask questions. So, a uh, second problem of uh, young businesses, of beginners, uh, is uh, uh, limited budget. Because of that, uh, I'd like to show how much uh, that's all cost. Uh, the domain in Switzerland, you can get about 10 to 15 Swiss franc, franc a year. It may be lower at Infomania, but so 8, something is good. And uh, hosting you can get uh, in Switzerland for about uh, 19, 90 Swiss franc per year. So per year you will spend about uh, 100 Swiss franc or 8,3 Swiss franc in a month. Why I wanted to compare, the second reason was uh, um, I often get a question, what is the difference between site builder and what WordPress? And uh, beginners want to start uh, their business website with, uh, with their site builder. For example, with Wix or in our popular. Uh, the difference is uh, you will still rent in your website, like creating a, a car. You will not have it uh, like your own. You will not have a full control on the files. Uh, you will not be able to to set up uh, some settings for hosting uh, and um, not really optimize it uh, well for search engines. And uh, uh, one more thing, so if somebody tell you the prices for site builder comparable with prices for hosting, uh, just let's see. The package with all options that allowed you uh, hosting, it will be this one. The package without uh, advertising of site builder will cost this sum and uh, um, about this sum. And these packages uh, we will show advertisement uh, of site builder. So, and uh, this is only for one website. You have to pay a year. In compare with uh, the WordPress installation, it's uh, already you can uh, see the difference. And uh, if uh, I would, if I would use it uh, instead of my hosting package, uh, I would uh, become a banker. <laughs> so um, here's something else. Another question uh, I'm getting sometimes, so quite often, is uh, how to edit the content. In the WordPress, is um, maybe not really clear for beginners how to edit content. Uh, the classic editor works um, not really very simple. It is not uh, drag and drop like at Site Builder. Uh, we hear the, today two topics about Gutenberg, a progressive WordPress editor. Uh, but I would like to show you a solution for really very beginners. Uh, with that, uh, you can edit your content with drag and drop. And this solution calls Elementor plugin. After you uh, installed WordPress, you go to your uh, administrative interface to plugins, find Elementor, install it, activate it, and your drag and drop is ready to use. On this uh, place I would like to show you live demo again. So our installation is complete. And we can go to a new installation to make it a real demo. So it is installation we just uh, did. So first of all, uh, uh, we we pick a nice team. I will take um, Ocean WP.
it is not available from where, so it's a bit strange, but okay, I still have um, some options on my hosting, and I go to these options. And from where I can, uh, from hosting panel, I can install um, a team as well. Why wouldn't it work? Why didn't it work before? <coughs> huh? Why didn't it work before from the WordPress interface? Why did you have to go back to the hosting page to look at uh, it? I, um, I had the um, administration interface. Uh, yeah, I think you have to click on add new. Add new. Ah, yes. So, sorry. Okay. Okay, yes. So, brilliant, right? Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, of course, we have to no, not simple click to Teams, just add new. Yes, really. And here uh, we can search for our Ocean WP, install it in one click, and it will work. Install and uh, don't forget to activate. Basically, uh, don't be afraid to play a little bit your installation. Uh, most probably you will uh, not damage something, but if you're doing it, then, uh, and if you have a good hosting, when well, you can write in a message and please <laughs> and do it up, and uh, with the probability we will do it. So, hosting for one or two dollars? Probably no. But a good hosting, if you invest 80 or 90, 50 francs a year, we are doing it, we have great support, and it basically works. So we installed uh, the team, we go to plugins, add in you, <coughs> we find Elementor, Install. And uh, it will be installed really quickly. We activate it. And it's ready to use. So, nice things. Uh, uh, let's see how, uh, how does our website look on front end. It looks uh, so like every website you just installed. Let's see what we can do with uh, Elementor. Uh, of course, you can use uh, all options of drag and drop, some sections, videos, Google Maps, whatever you want. But nice things uh, there is, it's uh, templates ready to use. So, for example, if um, you run in a restaurant, you can take, for example, this template and it's already done. Everything you need is uh, to edit a little bit of content, some pictures, but basically it's, um, it's done and ready to use. So, you don't have uh, to search any premium team anymore. You, don't have to think where I will put uh, these pictures and the video. You, can, you have a ton of choice of uh, templates ready to use and uh, you can really um, inspire yourself uh, seeing these templates and uh, make your choice or create your custom one with Elementor. So it's loading. Okay. So it's ready. And I press publish. <coughs> and let's see how it looks on front end. It wasn't published yet. Moment. Okay, the problem is. Uh, um, it just default uh, page, and we uh, did not put uh, this page like uh, front 
front page of our website. Uh, I will do it right now. So this is this page, this template. It looks already interesting, but not perfect. We see this sidebar, maybe we don't like to have. We see here some um, titles, under titles. Maybe we don't like to have. Yes? Is there any possibility to remove the WordPress icon and it's <laughs> possible like, to make people believe that you will create that? Sorry? Is that possible to remove that WordPress icon? Ah, uh, which, 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 which one? Which? At the top? Yeah, at the top. <clears throat> uh, that top bar is uh, the so-called admin bar. Uh, admin, so it's if not you're not logged in, then you will not see that. So visitors to your website oh, will not okay. see that bar. Okay, uh, we take um, the same page and uh, <laughs> let's see it um, in another browser, like uh, not lo logged in user, so you will not see it. Oh. It's, it, it, it's true, really. If you're not logged in, you don't see it. It's just for your administration purposes. So, uh, why I recommend to use uh, Ocean uh, WP for beginners? Because uh, there are quite a lot of options. And uh, we, we can customize, we can uh, um, delete this sidebar and uh, customize uh, with elements. Uh, yes, please. What, um, what's the distinct difference between the Ocean WP and 2017P, for example? What is the big advantage? Uh, okay, uh, I, I will show you a little bit later. Okay. The advantage, uh, basically the team is how your content look looks like. Some teams have more options, some teams less options. Just um, we have to install some plugins. To, to become it to work. <coughs> we can uh, install it from our administration interface uh, all together. And don't forget to activate it. Plugins, <coughs> activate. So now we have uh, everything to edit, to edit this page more. Basically, if you're on this page, what for do you use uh, these uh, options? You can press edit page and um, you get um, to your editor, to your backend. Ocean WP have these nice options. So content layout, maybe we will choose 100% full width. After that, uh, we, I would like to update the page. And now we will see how we change our front end. So we click view page. So it's already without sidebar. And we just changed uh, an option on Ocean WP. And it's already without sidebar. So the same way we can uh, change some options to get um, our page looking more beautiful. Uh, okay, <laughs> only five minutes. Um, so, for example, header, we can uh, uh, disable top bar, disable header itself. So,
Oh, we still have this belt. Okay. Um, I hope it's uh, pretty nice stuff to play for beginners. Uh, uh, so, beginners, how do you find it? Is is that useful? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. Yes. Great. Uh, so, I uh, recommend to use it if you're really a beginner. And um, back to my presentation. So, this is a uh, Elementor. How does it work if you like to create your custom page? It's quite easy. It's a really drag and drop. Like at site builder, but you have uh, your own website. You have all access to your files. You learn it, and uh, you can. Uh, you really are limited uh, in the manage of your files at your website. It's your own. <coughs> Any questions? So now, yes, please. Um, should we keep a local copy of our website? I mean, uh, a local, a I already story. heard this, this question, you know, um, maybe I will tell you a bad thing, but I uh, do not really do it. Because if you have a ton of websites, it will take a separate server. Yeah. Uh, I better use a really reliable good hosting in Switzerland, and uh, so we keep in my backups, you have an um, extreme important project, or you really... Uh, want to keep it at you, you can download it and uh, have uh, an archive and database backup on your computer. But, uh, you know, um, if you take a hoster that doing advertising, that selling, that living from this service, and we have your computer, I would uh, ask you how often you do in maintenance of your personal computer, mm. how often you do defragmentation, how often you clear it, that, why you think and on your computer it will be more safe as a at host? So it's really a question. If you care about that, if you're really a specialist in that, then well, you can do it. It's up to you. Like every decision in our life. <laughs> there is no one else. Yes. Somebody? Yes. How do you compare Elementor to other solutions like DV, uh, which is also uh, this kind of drag and drop? Uh, I find, I personally find Elementor uh, really easy to use for beginners uh, who is uh, really zero. And uh, if you're a web developer and you have a customer who would like to edit a website but you have feeling uh, uh, maybe you need a <laughs> really simple solution for him or her and then you install Elementor uh, and um, doing web design with Elementor you can save your time as well if you're using that. And uh, yes, uh, there is, uh, of course, comp uh, competitors, other solutions, it's up to you, you try it, you see what's simpler, what uh, better suits for your project. When to conclude my best practices is, uh, of course, yes, uh, use self-hosted uh, websites on WordPress, of course. Uh, never shy to ask questions and uh, come to uh, regular WordPress meetups to become a support from the community. I find it great, so thank you. And uh, um, pick up your files anyway, at hoster, at your own, with some plugins. Do it. Never say nobody told it to you, I told. <laughs> Entertain your visitors and uh, enjoy what you're doing. So, that's it from me. to Florian uh, for the chance uh, to talk uh, on this uh, nice conference. So really, thank you very much for coming to my speech. I wish everyone to have a very pleasant evening. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.